All right, here's a close look at the top of the corner aquarium stand, the cutout. That uh, uh, silicone uh, goop pile that you see around the perimeter there, that's actually going to act as a bit of a support, but also block the light from bleeding out from the bottom of the aquarium. Small cutout there in the back is so that residual heat can flow up through there and underneath the aquarium. I'll plug it in here. This LED is a uh, Fire Thor RGB, soft RGB LED, which is programmable, has a wireless remote. Uh, so there's smooth transitions of color. Uh, you want to be careful. You want to make sure you get a light that has memory. So I have it on a timer. When it turns back on, it goes back to the same program. 90% of these guys do not have that memory function. Um, and they're relatively inexpensive, three, four dollars from China. This one here is a U.S. <clears throat> retailer, and I think this bulb was about 12 bucks. It does have memory. It's a Fire Thor. I have some uh, high vac tape underneath there just to block some of the light from escaping into the inside of the cabinet.